Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to more modded Mass Effect 3. This is Hill, and we have just arrived at the planet Galax. We are looking for ex Cerberus scientists. Let's go. All right, we will be using the Inferno armor this time rather than the Paladin armor. We'll see how that works out. These armors look extremely similar. This gives greater recharge speed. I don't know if I really need it at this point, but it's there. All right. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? Intel's pretty damn slim. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a server squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. All right, slow down, people. Let's have incendiary ammo for the squad. Cerberus abandoned this place. Pretty damn chilly. All right, just keep moving. Ash, why don't you set up a sniper position? What do these people do to me? And let's give her. Well, no. All right, we'll just bring this down on their heads. James, don't. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so she's got her own ammo. Alright, cool. She's using Disruptor. The rest of us are using um, Incendiary. I didn't think you could do that. I thought once I said squad, then it's everybody. Push! Push forward! Oh, come on. Use Carnage. Inferno Grenade. <laughs> That's what I tell you! In the hands of an engineer. It's one of the most devastating powers in the game, I'm telling you. Alright. 
Who do you think it is, Jacob? Where is he? Jacob, come out. Stop hiding. Yep, it's me. What do you think about this new armor and the helmet that is not removable? I don't like that about this armor. But anyway, here we are. Jacob. Oh, How it bad? is removable. I'll live. I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. So why did the helmet not be off when he was on the shuttle anyway? Does it matter? Look at Ash with her sniper rifle. I tell you. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. <laughs> uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Running was smart. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Ooh, ooh. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. Those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. You know this guy, Jacob? More ex Cerberus? He worked with me to stop the collectors. Yeah. Don't you remember? You probably met him Dr. on um, Horizon. Jamie. It's Dr. Brown. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Thank you. I can't believe out of all those people, Jacob is the only survivor. And here, here's another thing. I'm sorry, I have to bring this up. Just like I have an issue with the... Um, golly with the Spectre um, office in the Citadel, how there's no other Spectres around or in it. Except there's one slight exception. But the issue I just have with Jacob, when we first meet him in Mass Effect 2, I mean, he's proud to say, I'm a biotic, and you know, he shows you his powers and all that kind of stuff. He doesn't have biotics in Mass Effect 3. It, has anybody noticed that? Never does he use biotics. It would have been really cool if he would have used them out there fighting the soldiers, but no. He's no longer biotic, people. All right, let's go. Just to... Wait a minute. No, he's not dressed like this. Dr. Archer. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer. We met on Project Over. That's one way of putting it. Yeah, I'm not shaking yes. your hand. Yes, well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. Hmm, David is safe. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried ducking the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. Mm -hmm. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster. You, you are a monster. A day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. Hmm, that's all. I have to go. And I'm not even going to pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. Shepherd. 
But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. So, if you manage to check out my other playthrough with the Renegade Shepherd, Renegade options will end badly for Dr. Archer. You'll finally get the justice that you were probably seeking if you played the Mass Effect 2 Overlord DLC. Alright, what, what was that? Assault Rifle Magazine Upgrade 2. Get the Do I need... Cells pack their own crates. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. I can't remember what Dr. Archer was wearing without Park Project Variety, but it wasn't that... I don't know what you call that outfit, but... It's like a... I've been playing too much Skyrim. It's like a bandit outfit. Whatever, you know, the equivalent of a bandit outfit is in Mass Effect. That's what he's got on. Alright, so got some experience here. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? Forty-three. Plus research assistants. How the hell did you go dark with so many in tow? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? That just upped the ante. <laughs> Why? Why would you bring family? So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I parents too? Refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. Mm. But it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. Wow. That's what evil counts on. Shepard is really um, throwing out some barbs here, especially at Dr. Archer, but wow. So that, and this is some wise, wise words about evil. Anyhow, there's a lot on the line. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Okay, um, I suppose we can talk to Bran for a moment, if the shaking might subside. Dr. Cole, got a moment? Of course. Mm, you and Jacob. Running from Cerberus? Don't you think you put these people in serious danger? They wouldn't have it any other way. Science must never bow to tyranny. We didn't escape just to go into hiding. We wanted to build a new life, where we could live and work on our terms. Love, family, they're all part of that. Even now. Otherwise, what are we fighting for? You and Jacob? What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. Cerberus work. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. 
I had access to cutting edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? Hmm. You escaped from Cerberus? How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. Tell me about your experiment. So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. Hmm. I should let you focus. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Okay, we've got a pad over here. Alright, with some credits, and here's another pad. Read that if you'd like. Man, these explosions. Hey. You okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. Um, he's been a gun for hire for a long time. He was a gun for hire when he worked with the elusive man and you, Shepard. It suits you. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. Huh, ever think about your father. So with this being a Paragon playthrough, I would imagine that his father's still alive. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. That's it? Alright. Tell me about Dr. Cole. How long have you known Britt? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? You know, as I look at this situation and see him with that horrible wound, maybe that's why they didn't allow him to have biotics in this... I don't know, this scene, this mission, because one of Jacob's powers was barrier. And if he did have barrier, he probably wouldn't be wounded like this, giving us a reason for him not to proceed in helping fix whatever it is we're about to go fix. So I guess maybe there's a reason. Don't give him biotics or barrier because then he'd be too powerful and they wouldn't have wounded him. Anyway, that's just something to contemplate. So what's up with you and her? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her. You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um, if these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life, whatever's left of it. All right, well, glad we had a chance to talk. I should focus on getting these people out of here. Yes. You bet. Let's get to it. Okay, what's this over here? Another data pad. All right, more credits. I'm just scanning the room. I don't think I see anything. Oh, I do. Casa Fabrication Greaves. All right. Now I want to, like, comb every inch, because I barely, I almost walked out the door. Look, a data pad. All right. Let's 
And what is this? More meta gel? Okay. I'm not willing to die to save this data. Let me. There's something. Here's another data. Excuse me. Go. Just go. Another no, no. data pad. Okay. There's something do this. we're supposed to do here. Look at these outfits these people have on. These are like, I think, Batarian outfits. Is this it? Yes, the Turian toxin. Kind of poison. Tailored to Turians. Okay, yeah, because there's a poison Turian back at. Where the memorial? Badly equipped, guns offline. It would have been a massacre. Elusive man really wants these guys. Um, isn't there supposed to be something here for me? I guess I missed it. I thought there was a gun. All right. How do we want to approach this? I think we're going to concentrate everything on this engineer. Oh, look out! Grenade! Ow! Oh, come on. I was in cover! Take two. Alright. Inferno grenades. Carnage. And I'm going to put incinerate on this guy. Figured he was going to dodge it. There we go. All right, that went a little bit better. <clears throat> Come on, people. Got Ash. Got them all. Okay, that's just a generator. All right, telemetry override, and we've leveled up. Data pad. Our inferno incendiary ammo. Thank you. All right. 
There we go. Yeah, Ash, can you do that? You've got the sniper rifle. Keep low and find cover. I can't really move up. If I go, okay, am I close enough that I can, not really, that, that thing will rip me to shreds. Plans, people, ideas. It's just waiting for me to come up there. It's not shooting. Oh, wait. There we go. We have to get up there and activate those AA guns manually. There's a, a weapon piece down here. Okay, we'll have to do it this way. Here. Shotgun spare ammo too. And if you don't get it now before this stuff starts, you're not going to be able to pick up stuff later because there's going to be a cutscene. I've learned the hard way. <laughs> Okay. Oops, sorry. Failure at junction. Repair and reset. Okay. One of us has to make these repairs. Um. I choose James. James, repair this. ASAP. Will do. Ready, Ash? Just you and me. You bet, Shepard. All right, we've got phantoms. Thrown out. Right. 
Phantom's down. How are the repairs coming? I'm working on our cutscene. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Evacuate. Immediately. All right. Let's get these shuttles in the air. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here. You want to send a few more? We need you at the landing area to make sure they get away. I'll meet you down there. All right, let's go. Um, we're okay. Okay, there they are. Okay, I was like wondering, like what? All right, Ash, we're gonna keep you with your um sniper rifle. You'll probably need it. Shepard?
that's James. Out. There's a phantom. Drone out. First. Is that it? That was the last of the civilians. Shepard, heads up. Place is overrun. We gotta go. Headed to you with the shuttle. Understood. Hang on. Freaking mech just landed. Jacob, hang tight. Oh! Your landing zone. That's one down. One to go. of our teeth again, eh, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. Okay, I'm going back to the biotics uh, and the lack thereof with that escape that they just had. It would have really been awesome if he used pull field on those troops that were coming up toward the shuttle. Pull field! Anyway, I understand. Keep him safe then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Hackett here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. 
Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. All right, well, things are looking up. We've got more scientists to help build the Crucible so that we can defeat the Reapers. At least we hope we can. All right, well, I think we'll go ahead and end it right here. There's no need to walk all the way back to the CIC in our next episode. I think there's going to be more action. We'll see next time. This is Hill, and I'm out.